Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom character in your Roblox game. So, I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right into it. So, technically, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a part. And you're going to want to go to the part, and you're going to want to go to Surface by going to View, Properties, then scrolling down, going to Surface, and clicking that area right, arrow right there. So then you're going to want to go to the front surface, and you're going to want to see, now this is going to be the front of your character, so I'm going to put a hinge on this, that's going to be the front of my character. So, let's just make a simple little stick, I don't know, maybe like, give him some eyes, adorable, just adorable. Actually, this would probably give me nightmares if I'm being honest, but... Do that. So now when you're done with that, just kind of decorate your character all you want. Now, and then, yeah, so I might do that. Great, and now I can unhinge it because I know which side is the front. Great, so now what you're going to want to do once you have this is you're going to want this plugin and before you say this plugin is deleted that won't work it was actually upgraded or not upgraded um re-uploaded wait did i say uploaded or upgraded sorry but it was uploaded again but not by the original creator but by another guy who's actually really helpful cause it's really hard to create one without this it's probably the best thing i know so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, hmm, actually, one second, I'm just going to quickly organize this. Cut! Anyway, so now that I've named this all, it doesn't really matter if you do or not. So you're going to want to group it by going, by doing this, like kind of selecting every part, and then clicking the group button up here. So now... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this plugin, click edit, no sorry, you're going to need to select the model, which I'm actually going to name, you're going to need to name this starter character, and now you're going to want to click edit, you're going to want to click new joint, now, <clears throat> oh sorry, you're actually going to need to add a humanoid root part I think that's what it called okay so get this sorry I'm gonna have to grab this what the heck okay anyways you're gonna it goes so bad. You're going to want to have a humanoid root part. And what I recommend doing is just go in here, go to the body, just duplicate it, set the transparency to one. Like, kind of just do it be one. Right? And then, once you did that, you're going to want to, you're going to want to go to plugins, custom character, oh yeah, PS, you're going to want to name this one, humanoid root 
part. Sorry if this tutorial is confusing. I just know it works. So, yeah. So, once you have the humanoid view part, you want to go to, you must go here, click edit, new joint, go to the humanoid root part, and then go to the base, and then click new joint, go to the base, or whatever you named it, and then just kind of, con so for me, I'm going to connect it to the eyes or the eye whites but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the like the black parts of the eyes to the white part it will not be connected to the base part at all it's kinda confusing but it's also like not confusing at all new joint that that so now click finish once you're done so The body, there are some times that you mess up and you kind of have to glitch them. It should not be with itself. It should be, yeah. Get a body. This one is connected to body. So, and it is body, so that's pointless. So... And then, if this is connected to that, that is connected to that. Great. Now, once you do that, what you're going to want to do is take this, and you're going to want to insert a humanoid. Once you've inserted a humanoid, What you want to do right now is you want to try putting, wait, no. I think first what you have to do is you have to go to humanoid root part and actually anchor it. I could be totally wrong on that. I have done this too many times. Sorry. Never mind. You do not want to anchor the body. Or the humanoid root part, sorry. But I think if all goes well, yeah, now I am whatever the heck this thing is. And if you ever want to edit it, you can pull it out. Sad thing is, whenever you edit it, I think you have to like redo the like custom character things. You have to redo the Motor 60s, um, which you need a mod for. And you have one custom character creator. So I'm actually just gonna make this a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Okay, fine then. Ungroup. Still can't make you any smaller. <laughs> okay then, I guess they're gonna have to stay that size. So yeah. That's how you make a custom character. Don't have to like it. However, remember this. If it's not working for you, this has to have starter character in it. It has to has have a humanoid. It has to have a humanoid root part. And it has to have these motor 60s. If you have a problem... Just comment down in the, the, like, the comment section because I didn't explain this well. Yeah. It's pretty simple, I'd say. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. It didn't work because it wasn't in... Starter player. Okay. When it's in starter player... It will work. You can even jump. And if you want to edit it, what you can do is you can open it. You can go to humanoid. You can like change that to zero. Zero. Use jump power. Blah. Blah. And then. 
right here, and then it will not be able to jump. Yeah. And if for some reason you don't want to be able to walk, you can just go over and go to walk speed. So that's a zero. Opera Kadabra, you broke his legs. Can't even walk. And so I'll see you guys later. <clears throat> it's evil. Oh, I found how to. I found out how to move. I never thought. I never thought anything like this be created. But you know what? It was.